Good day, doctor. Today, my topic will be the synthesis of child clone derivative and study on the biological activities. So, moving on to introduction. What is child clone? Child clone, otherwise called 1,3-diarylutropropene-1, no. or other alpha-beta unsaturated ketone. So why is it so useful? Because it can be used as a skull phone and tablet in many chemical uh, synthesis and medical chemistry. There's a picture of a skull phone. And the derivative of chalcone have many biological activities. So how are chalcone is going to be synthesized? Um, conventionally, it's synthesized by the cleansing schematic condensation catalyzed by an acid or a base. So here's a simple equation of the condensation. And in my new approach, I'm going to use microwave irradiation accompanied by green chemistry, which is the use of a catalyst in the charcoal synthesis. So problem statement. Um, all the recent studies state that the synthesis process are tedious, time consuming, they have lots of waste produced. And microwave irradiation, in my approach, is used uh, to increase the efficiency. So simultaneously, with the help of cellular supported metal nanoparticles as a catalyst. And charcoal have many biological activities that have been tested, but it is not well understood yet. So my charcoal produce will be synthesized, will be screened for their biological activities. So in the research objective to apply, of course, to apply microwave irradiation and cellular supported metal nanoparticles in the chemical synthesis. And finally, the novel charcoal derivative are tested for their biological activities. Uh, literature review. So from research, from review papers, uh, I get to know what is charcoal and how are charcoal and the derivatives synthesized and there are many, many vast biological activities. And moving on from journal articles, it triggers my idea of using microwave irradiation in my charcoal synthesis and also uh, copper nanoparticles as the catalyst to make the chemical synthesis environmental friendly. So the Biological activity tests or the assays are also extracted from journal articles and adapted into my work. And moving on next is methodology. So the chemical reagents are all prepared by FIST labs. And the instrument that I'll be using for the assays are column chromatography, microwave, a microwave, FDIR, spectrometer, and MR to test for the FDIR and MR of the uh, charcoal synthesis uh, based on the FDIR and MR database. So in my synthesis process, this too is my first equation and which is uh, using a cleanser schema condensation method. And this is a ketone reactor with an aldehyde under base or acid to produce my first chalcone skull form, which is a propagulated chalcone. And any heating process or reflux are replaced by microwave irradiation. Moving on, the chalcone skull form just now produced a further reactor to produce xanthohuma. And then the cellular supported metal nanoparticles are applied in the last process, which to produce my final product. Then the catalyst is tested for the reusability to know whether it is green, which means it's environmental friendly or not. And then all the products in the size are tested for the FTIR and NMR established on the basis of the database. And finally, the assay for the charcoal derivative are uh, all methods adapted from recent published methods, such as anti cancer uh, activity using MTT assays and anti malaria using P. Berkey ANK, which is a malaria parasite, 
NTHIV, uh, the recombinant HIV protein solution will be diluted and tested with our final product, and antimicrobial tested with bacteria and antioxidant, which we will be using a DPPH. And finally, anti-inflammatory, I'll be using the in vivo inhibition assay. And lastly is expected outcome. Um, using the microwave irritation, I expect to have higher use, uh, more rapid synthesis of the charcoal, and improve the selectivity. And when the catalyst is applied, I hope that there will be higher efficiency, effectiveness, and the catalyst can be reused, which is very eco-friendly and green to the whole chemical synthesis. So lastly, I also hope that the charcoal derivatives in the size have good results for their biological activities. And I hope this whole research will be a guide to a design of new potential charcoal derivative in the near future. And lastly is reference, and that's all from me. Thank you.